I do think one, two, three, one, two, three. Out oh, that'll do it. So something I want to quickly talk about. Because I'm I occasionally make these pieces of work and I'm like, it's so stupid, it's ridiculous. I could be embarrassed by it. Like high school me, college me would probably be embarrassed by it. But I'm also like, I'd easily show some my Snapchat right now and be like, look at how ridiculous this is. This is stupid. I find it funny more than anything. Um, so, years ago, oh, how can I, yeah, if you look at the screen. Um, if I go way down to like, show me if you've done a page, and we'll go to like, can we go to the end? Mm. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can I look at it this way? Um, if I go to like my old, like look at this, like look at that for a thumbnail. That's quite a bit of effort. I remember, so I didn't have Photoshop at the time or Lightroom or anything like that. I just had um, Edmotion, which is um, an animation style, uh, CGI graphics, something along those lines. Um, but I, I learned that I was able to create something within the frame and export it as a, export the single frame I was on as a JPEG. And so suddenly I could make custom thumbnails, and I was quite excited by that. I used to put a lot of effort into them. I found the word marshmallow written in marshmallows as a PNG file. Um, I wrote the word challenge in this like Super Mario font, and then used the lettering as a mask to show through a picture behind it of just an array of marshmallows. That was my marshmallow challenge for the thingy. I took a picture of Madison, and I and and I you had to just rotoscope sort of. You had to cut out by hand. So all of this is cut out by hand, that's why her hair is a bit, a bit blob. It doesn't matter because it's for a tiny thumbnail. I found this um, android figure holding a marshmallow and I felt so clever that I reversed the image and made it into a reflection. So that it looked like it was actually from the frame. Heavily complicated for some video that's three minutes long for my sister in a marshmallow challenge and it got 65 views. But we don't do this for views, do we? Um, if we go down to, like, look at this, like, that's me superimposed, like, I look terrible there, so please don't look too close to the board. That's me superimposing myself, you know, cutting out by hand again. I've got a shadow against what the video is, it's this achievement here, trying to unlock it. Um, same down here, look at all the effort I used to put into all these. Um, <clears throat> if I go to, uh, mm, let's go to sort by oldest. Let's go for some old ones. Not much going on there, go on, so. But these all, you know, took some effort to make. I used to make these. This, this was part of, this was just as much a part of it as was editing the video. It was like this. Just simply add, having the text, choosing my clothes game, taking a background photo, using one of my selfies, cutting myself out of it, and suddenly I had a thumbnail. Um, same again down here, you, you know, common theme and pretty much the same, but each one took like effort because I had to cut myself out by hand. Even these here, quite purple filters, I quite like to call purple. Um, that battlefield falls a bit faint, but I like the design at the time, it works really well there. Um, I think the way I used to do this was like, you'd have the background image, uh, you have a black background, the image on top of it, uh, which would then have a transparency level of say 20%. Then you have font on top, which was used as a mask for the exact same image, but the opacity would be set to maybe 50%, and so you would have sort of a highlight of the font, but in the same image. Um, this here in mo in, in motion, so they suddenly had they had um oh, whoops, they had 3D, oh, yeah, they had th the ability to create 3D three dimensional fonts, and so I went from um. 2D images to, yeah, it's 3D, 3, a bit imposed. You can see we sort of had a bit of a theme because then we have 3D text there. Um, that one I hand drew it, exists, it's fine. No, and that, that was, I think, like I wrote Buchanan Games on and then put like a white, like smudge behind it so you could see it, but forgetting that it's super tiny so you can't see anything, it just looks like a smudge. But the game of France, the French gamers, um, and it's with the French flag, obviously. Um, 
Why am I the, why am I showing you? The point is, um, I used to put effort into my thumbnails. A lot of them, like, look at this, look at this. I'm putting myself into the frame. I'm behind, I'm part of the... There was a person there. There was, like, one of these figures, but... Uh, this little one here, with the little creature, I clearly used to put in effort, and then I stopped doing YouTube for years, years and years, and in fact you can see it here, it's like literally three years ago, three years ago, three years ago, three years ago, one year, if I go back to the top and do it this way, so by me, come on, oldest to newest, oh newest, right, some came up four days ago, a week, two weeks, two weeks, three weeks, three weeks, three weeks, one month, one month, one month, one month, two months. You can see I've been consistently uploading for a couple months now, quite a few months, actually about a year. Sometimes taking a few weeks off here and there when I've been busy with uni work and whatnot, or when I was out of the country, let's say. Actually, I think I might have um, scheduled some things whilst I was out. But it literally goes from like three years ago, three years ago, two years ago, two years ago, a year ago, a year ago, a year ago, a year ago. A year ago. All the, right, yet to here, a year ago, this is where it started. I made these black hole zoo videos, just a little wholesome family video of my day out to the zoo with my family, and um, I actually enjoyed editing them again. I hadn't edited anything for years. And then my friends and I started playing Warzone during the lockdown. Um, and I filmed about two to three terabytes worth of footage. Oh my god, I've filmed so much. I could easily spend the next 10 years and not get around to editing all of it, there's just so much of it. Um, but all the thumbnails are literally just, literally most of these are just YouTube offers you three photos from the video and I've just been picking the best one that I thought looked fine. But the more and more I started doing these, like seasons one and two, I was like, then I started to take screenshots or export the current frame from the video because you can do that in my iMovie now. Um, sometimes I'd crop in. Then I got to the point where I was like, I wanted to put in some efforts, like here with the victories, I made sure to pick the screen where it says victory on it. Um, things like this where I've cropped in quite far. This, I had the joke cut out already as a PNG file. So I could drop that onto iMovie and just kind of put it at the edge of the frame. Zoom in a bit, you can see that I down someone here. It's fine. They work. I mean, they get no views, but I'm not doing this for that. I just enjoy editing. Some of them have some text in them, do they? Oh, the most... this... well, okay, let's go for it. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, that has the title. It's the same title. I think the uh, text in your video should say something different than your title sometimes. Um. Here, I put that I failed my degree, and it just says failed degree. Then you go across to here, my least, my most recent one. I, I made sure to put in, let's play Black Ops Cold War, Zombies, uh, what is it, More de Totten, uh, Round 25. I'm trying to butcher that German. Um, anyhow, I just, finished, I just finished editing the next video, which is scheduled for Friday. If I go into my videos here, let's get this and this. You can see it's just there. And the I've not even picked a oh yeah, I have picked some now. That one, you know, it, it's not bad, that works. It's got bright neon colours, you can see I'm there in the corner. Um But I wanted to surely I have Photoshop now. And I've not really learned how to do Photoshop. I have uh, the Adobe platform so that I can use Lightroom. I've edited uh, a few thousand photographs over the past couple of years, that's primarily what I do, but it also gives me Photoshop. And I've used it sparingly here and there for kind of touch-ups, blemishes, stuff like that. I've tried to do some background placements, I've not been good at it. It's annoying that I used to be better, by, like literally by cutting people out of my hand, I can do that. But yeah, in Photoshop, using like the quick select and selecting somebody and refining it to make sure I've got the edges right. I've just not been able to do it. Not been able to work it out. But when loading up Photoshop, they always give you that like um but yeah, so these are the something else from like this year that have happened. We're literally the cropped in was on Battle Royale in terms of two. Cropped in to the bit where blue to remove some of his armor. All without fun. Uh cropped in, there's that one. That one again, victory. 
double kill could have missed AC Elliot. There was a bunch of options. Yeah, with the text, yeah. Boring. Uh, and then, which one's this? Photographs. That, that one was, you know, I was like, eh, I guess they had Hero Cross, but I don't like it. That one, is that the one we went with? I think that's the one we chose in the end. Uh, <laughs> that one I kind of did today in iMovie. I literally added the word round 26. Um, I made this my face kind of much bigger, and I paused on a frame that had this here. I thought, eh, it does the job. I was like, I can do better. I want to cut myself out again. I miss doing it. So I went ahead and got myself a couple backgrounds. I picked that one, of course, but I picked this as well, and this too. And I think that's all we've gone with in the end. And I finally worked out how to cut myself out. So I've pulled up Photoshop here. So we'll remove all those. I don't know how to turn the mask on or off. Right. So I actually stood up and I got my camera out and I took some photographs. Um, as you can see here. I then literally searched for paper background removal, followed a tutorial on like select um subject and refining it. It's not perfect. Um there it is. Um I did the background and then moved myself over to here. I wanted it to be like one of those stupid, ridiculous, over the top maybe comical maybe not um well yeah that's my that's my thumbnail <laughs> that's my new thumbnail i'm actually quite excited about this um hang on so here we go let's play um 2021 seen zombies here we go the thumbnail way back i've not done a thumbnail like this in a very long time it is stupid and funny and I lucky don't want anyone to have a look at this but I was gonna justify it. Um yeah looks like I have webbed hands in my in my right hand because I didn't notice that it hadn't cut me out properly. But for a first attempt and considering it will be seen like that big on computer screens at best or phones uh, most likely Nobody will know. Nobody will know. We'll pick that there. Okay, we can't pick that because it's larger than 2 megabytes. How do I... How big is it? 7.4. Okay, well, what I do know I can do is... Thank God I've not got over yet. File. Export it as. Let's bring it up here. Um, we can do something right. I believe we can do... Oh, that's not what I want. Mm, oh, okay, here we go. So if we do... Three by two. I'll tell you, hang on. That's not what I want. I would just want additional. What's this? No, what's that? I don't know what that does. You can explore the selected layers of I know I can do it in Lightroom. 
can I encode that? Um, no. How do I? I know it's got to be a way. Can I open it? Uh, like, what's that mean? No. I go okay. You know, file export as <clears throat> I think it's cold already sure. to temp, see what he does. It's still 7.4 megabytes. All right, so if we do file, export as, and this time we'll do uh, file, um, we'll go for quality drop, we'll drop the quality down, so say, 30% export. Yeah, we should replace that one, won't we? Yeah, replace it. Okay, that's less than one megabyte. And it's still actually not bad. That's not bad. Um, if that's 30%, we can probably drop it down to 60, am I right? I want it to be as high resolution as possible, but also. Under two megabytes, I guess. So what we'll do this time is we will press sixty. Two point one megabytes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm glad we did that. Oops, uh, Sarah just pops up. Uh, fifty-eight percent. 1.9 megabytes, there we go. Export. Save that. Place that. So, am I right in saying now? Go back to here. We will try again. Hey! That's, yes! That's something. Uh, my projects was wide, uh, but I did fuck it out of it. <laughs> I'm done. I find that. I find the time to at least. It's currently 3.45 in the morning. It's quarter to four. I've worked at 8 a.m. Let's have a look. Hey! Really, I can really, I'd rather have it black bars turn bottom so it looks like I've got some widescreen going on, but no, I don't. I'd rather it literally be a 16 by 9 picture. So I have to work out to do that next time. I have to open a 16 by 9 project in Photoshop. Um, hmm. Well, 
it exists. Can I see over here? No. Alright, that's been a long video. I didn't expect it to go long. Um, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Come take a look at my stuff. Um, there'll be a bunch of things linked below. Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. I put them in that order because Instagram is my best work, I think, beyond YouTube as well. YouTube's getting on par with it now, but you know, I'm primarily a photographer, so Instagram's the best place to look. Uh, TikTok, I make videos, and I, in the past year or two, three, made short form videos for my Instagram story. And now that's time for TikTok. I have a huge back catalogue of um, pretty, you know, well filmed stuff considering it's for an Instagram story. Um, but with a permanent home for it now because TikTok, you know, it's longer than 24 hours. Um, so I've, I've got some pretty fun stuff over there, I think. Um, Snapchat, I post a lot of stuff to there, but honestly, I'd rather you go look at Instagram and TikTok. And then Twitter, I don't use it, but it's there. Um, and if every one of those Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter, my username is, uh, I'm sure it might have screen somewhere, but it's Mr. Hinser, M-R-H-A-Y-D-N-S-I-R. Equally, you can go to www.mrhinser.com. Currently has a password, 1234. Nothing secure, it's just there, just in case. Um, until it's, it's not finished. Still a work in progress, but uh, we'll get there. And I um, can't wait. It's um, it's just a showcase for my photography. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know why I would, but uh, if, you, if you watch this and you hear me speak now, you, you probably should subscribe because you made it this far into what is pretty boring video. 2021, I'm talking about YouTube thumbnails. This might be relevant if it was 2008. If they even had them, that's my good. Okay, before I keep loving on, thank you for watching. Goodbye, ciao. Off I go. Bye bye.